Uh, later, you all not, your testimony shouldn't just be filled with what went bad in your life. But you ought to have some testimony about how you came out of some stuff. Watch this. You ought to have testimony about how something should have been away, but it didn't go that way. You, you ought to have a testimony about how it was almost in bankruptcy. Look at your neighbor and say, but God, but God. You, you ought to have some real testimonies. Winning is not something that just happens. And contrary to popular belief, you don't just wake up like this. Right. <laughs> Truth be told, uh, you gotta have, there'll be some sprinkles of setbacks. Yeah. If you don't have setbacks, then you'll never really understand exactly what it means yeah. to be a real winner. Right. Uh, can I tell you something? You are only as great as the obstacles that you overcome. <clears throat> uh, let me repeat that. See, some of y'all wanna deal with little devils. And that's why I don't nobody know you. But baby, when you deal with big devils, and God says, when God says, I'm going to make your name great, don't you know that you, your name can't be great unless you find a big, great devil? So when the song comes on, all I do is win, 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 no matter what. And he says, my hands go up, watch this, and they do what? God, y'all ain't hearing this. Uh, uh, when his hand goes up, his hands go up for a few reasons. Number one, they go up because it means I surrender. Uh, because a real winner ain't going to win unless you know how to give up. You can't win unless you know how to give up. What do you mean give up, T? Uh, I mean that there has to be a time when you understand that winning ain't of you. So you got to quit trying to win of yourself. So he said, my hands go up, watch this, and they do what? So if they stay there, then that means that I have made, watch this, a conscious decision that I'm going to surrender all, and then after I surrender all, I'm not going to let my hands down just because it don't look good. All right. Uh, Tony, come real quick. Hold your hands up. Come to me. Keep coming. Now, Tony don't know what I'm going to do. My fist is balled up. Unfortunately, he can't defend himself. If his hands are up. Uh, some of y'all, your posture is, you always defensive. You too busy trying to fight me when I ain't your real fight. You can't win because your hands ain't in a winning position. God, y'all ain't saying that. Uh, uh, whenever there is a winner declared in a fight, what does the referee do? Hold your hands up. When your hands are up, it is symbolic of you surrendering. Watch this. And it's also symbolic of you saying, God, I'm going to praise you no matter what's going on. So when my hands go up, they're going to stay there. It don't matter who lied on me, who talked about me, who ain't staying with me. Somebody say, when my hands go up, they're going to stay there. Man. Don't move. Uh, unfortunately... Uh, I went to a kindergarten, well fortunately, I went to a kindergarten uh, where my kindergarten teachers didn't play. Yes, sir. Their names was Miss Virginia Miller and Miss Miller. I don't even know her real first name. What's her real first name? Catherine, you don't even remember me? You know why? We were too scared to learn. <laughs> There were times where our discipline in the class was holding our hands up. Yes, sir. Ooh. That's how you do it. Oh, y'all don't know nothing about that. That's why your children crazy. Because you don't want my child holding their hands up well. They can learn how to hold their hands up in class. They can learn how to hold their hands up in the street. Come on. Come on. All right, I'll get out of that. Uh, hands are up. Watch this. And we could not let our hands down. Until they told us to. Right. <laughs> it looked like the longer you held them up, the heavier they got. Yeah. And then them crazy teachers will come in after your hands been up for 10 minutes and your hands be down here and then they say, hold your hands up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that even sometimes when I'm winning, it's hard to maintain my winning position? 
Don't move, I'm glad you, I'm glad you answered that. Now I can tap dance in the Genesis chapter 40 where we find a brother named Joseph who has who has been crowned by his daddy with a coat of many colors. They crowned by his daddy. The only problem with being great is that there is something that Shakespeare said. He said, heavy is the head and wears the crown. Uh, 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 Shakespeare uh, pronounced it adequately, but Joseph walks it out. Joseph, as a crown, makes his brothers hate him. Oh, God, I hear you, John, chapter 15, verse 25. Jesus says they hated me for no reason. Come on. Come on. Uh, yo, watch this. It ain't your success that made the enemy hate you. It's the potential for you to succeed. Oh, they're saying that. Yes, That's why you wonder why folks hate on you and you ain't even got nothing. Hey? Can I keep something before you start eating the food with me? Can I at least start walking in? Can I at least wear a real problem before you start acting crazy with me? It ain't got nothing to do with what you got. It's what they know you got in you. That's good. That's good. And you gonna hold your hands up when all the hell you going through. Who you supposed to be? We all are doing the same stuff. And you got your hands up? Oh God, I ain't got time. Watch this, old Joseph. Uh, we understand the story. I'm not here to tell you how to do the story. But Joseph he is a cost of eyes, brothers, left for dead. And then the Bible declares that he is brought up out of a, he is brought in a pit with his hands still up. The scripture never says that Joseph called his brothers back. It does not show us where there is an altercation. Where he decides that you ain't gonna throw me in the pit, I'm gonna fight you back. Right. Like it is hard to fight when you surrender. Right. Mm. Come on. Come on. Come on. And I appreciate you about the mantle that's on your life. Yes. When God places a mantle on your life, sometimes there are certain fights that you can't even get in. Right. Yeah, that's right. Oh man. Can I tell you the fight that great people can never fight for themselves? Uh, a, a great person can never defend himself. Great people can't defend themselves because if they do, they no longer resemble winners. Uh. <laughs> now you start to look like who you fight. Yes. That's why you don't ever argue with a fool. It's hard to tell the difference. Okay, now y'all ain't talking to me. Right. Joseph is in the pit. Along comes some brothers who decide they're going to get him and sell him. And take him, watch this, he now goes to Potiphar's house. Yeah. Great situation. Right, right. Now I'm winning. <laughs> I've been in a pit. Great situation I'm in now in Potiphar's house. But you got to understand that as long as your hands are up, the enemy has always been you a problem. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. So the enemy, watch this, sends Potiphar's wife. Please understand that anything they can be seeing, they got problems themselves. Potiphar's wife comes, your hands are up. See, if you keep your hands up, you keep your hands clean. Potiphar's hands are up. Hold your hands up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Potiphar's hands are up. Watch this. And when the woman comes, Potiphar. Uh, not Potiphar, but Joseph, his hands are up, and when Potiphar's wife comes, his choice may be to look, but he understands that because of the mantle, he's got to run. Yeah. 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 He runs, but he still gets in trouble. You ever did the right thing and didn't get no credit for it? Oh man, that's a great man. You ever did what you were supposed to do? Yes, sir. You ever gave in the offering, gave in the second offering, then gave in a benevolent offering, and you didn't know how you was gonna put gas in your own car to get home? And they said that in 48 hours, that was gonna do something good. The only thing God did this week was woke you up like he did last week. All right, don't say that. I got real saved in here. Don't say that. I'm not. See? Ends up in jail 
for doing, watch this, the right thing. I can put a pin there. I will say that sometimes, Justin, God will create a situation. Watch this. Well, I have to be a winner in hell. Y'all oh. yes. just want to win on stage. Yes. But God wants you to win in front of a butler yeah. Yeah. and a baker. Yeah. <laughs> because Joseph met two brothers in jail. He meets a butler and he meets a baker. Did not say that he met them while out having fine dining. I mean, I submit to you that your greatest blessing ain't gonna come while you in. I'm sorry, I can't do that. My son said, don't do that when you're preaching, Dad. Finish the sentence because I don't be knowing what you're going to say next. And I'll be waiting on you to finish that. So, Cam, this is for you. Uh, your greatest blessing is not going to come while you're sitting in P.F. Chang. Sometimes your greatest blessing comes when you ain't got enough money and sell for nothing but two cheese crystals. You can't afford the cup of water, so you ask them to put it in your, in your hand for a pour. <laughs> 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 <laughs>